Good afternoon, Phil Simons here with Columbia Grain and your Friday afternoon weekly market recap. Well, welcome to March Madness in the commodity complex as the wild ride continued this week with more and more uncertainty over the potential cool downs and flare ups on the Russian and Ukraine war and to what extent world commodity flows will continue to be disrupted. More concerns are starting to rear their head on what the potential lies ahead if China ultimately supports Russia going forward. With that, we continue to see volume and open interest magnify as the flow of money continues to get poured into the commodity markets one day, and those same folks run for the hills the very next day, giving us this massive volatility and continues to magnify the uncertainty in the current markets. But again, I wanna share my screen with you uh, to show what we've seen this past week again. So you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, we have corn uh, futures weekly price action for the week um, beginning on Monday of March 14th. We settled the day here this week with an overall weekly price range of 41 cents uh, throughout the week and with a net weekly change in a loss of corn of 21 cents on the week. We can see on soybeans in similar fashion, uh, the weekly price range on the right hand side being 59 cents and closing the week with a net weekly change in a loss of 24 cents week on week in soybeans. Chicago wheat continued to be the massive uh, benefactor in terms of price movement with a weekly price range of $1.29 in Chicago wheat, but a net weekly change of a loss of 63 cents this week. Kansas City wheat uh, in similar fashion, had a weekly price range of $1.24. You can see a net weekly change of $0.43 cents in terms of a loss for Kansas wheat this week. Minneapolis wheat was right in a similar suit, having an overall price range of $0.90 cents on the right-hand side of your screen, and a net weekly change of a loss of $0.18 cents on the week. I did want to point out this week uh, from the weekly export sales report that corn had a very impressive week this past week with a total sales of 72.3 million bushels. Uh, so again, just something to, to continue to point out in terms of what the average flow or the actual flow uh, of commodity um, exports that we're going to continue to see uh, going, for, going forward. And again, as a reminder, we do have the quarterly stocks report out um, at the end of this month, uh, along with the planning intentions report at the end of the month on March 31st. So really a lot to look forward to in the coming weeks. Uh, but overall, the markets continue to show us the importance of having your marketing plan in place and to really take advantage of these prices while they are here. You know, so really be sure to utilize your revenue insurance levels in your marketing plan this year. And please just give us a call and we can get those orders out there working for you to take advantage of the swings while they're here. Uh, to last at least. And remember, if you can drink it, don't trade it. Have a great weekend, everybody. And we'll talk with you next week.